UFC lightweight division bout. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, withstand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. You guys say Justin Unreal. Gaethje back from the top. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Gaethje is four years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper no Mercedes! Oh! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200, I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC today. It's so oh. he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Huge shots there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. I 
love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And they both stand up. So just over 20 total strikes now for Justin Gage. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful point. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. A oh, little single collar tie there. Gaethje gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. It won't take many of those. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! Fifteen seconds to go. Leading from the eyebrow area now, that shot cut him. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. How about DC back just in time from the can? Piotr Young Let's go versus Justin Gaethje. Oh, nice punch there by Gaethje. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Pretty good right hand. Just out of range with the big right hand. Put your hands on fire. Oh, collar tie. Well, he is in a striking zone now out of the clinch. The hook shot's continuing to land to the midsection of his opponent. He's doing a real good job of finding the angle to land the shots to the body, and not one at a time, but multiple shots to the body, mostly by hook. So as we call on the numbers, 54 total oh. strikes. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Combinations here. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a good DC. He massive, hurt. massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. One, two punch by Gaethje. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gaethje. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, the ground is found. 
is there. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Gaethje's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 30 seconds to go now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gets up again here, but hurting. the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very bad. Third round underway. Oh, 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 right hand. oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to change that finish down now. Oh! Ooh. Back to the feet. Wow! Oh. He's in trouble. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.